the most part, I have to say God. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have to. Um, I'm so private, and I, I'm not the one to try to tell you my thoughts and my feelings, and I'm hurting right now, I need to talk to somebody, that's not me. Mm -hmm. I'm becoming that person now. I've always been such a hard person where I keep everything to myself and keep it bottled in, and going through everything, you know, it wasn't good for me. I, I ended up having a stroke, and mm -hmm. so you have to learn to release. So a lot of the stuff that I went through, my mom and my sisters never even knew hmm. because I never told anybody. I was trying to deal with it all within myself and put on a face for everybody. And hmm. they used to ask, how are you doing? I'm fine. You know, and inside um. it's like you're dying. You know, so you get into praying so much and, you know, just sitting, just talking to yourself, just releasing it. And then my kids are there for me. So, you know. They helped me a whole lot. Mm. So that's my inner strength. I, I have to say my children and God. Mm. And for you? Um, well, other than watching Regina and reading what she actually went through, just sort of trying to, you know, bring that to life, I was raised by a single mother. My sister's a single mother. Mm. And, you know, the hardship <laughs> just of that, seeing the struggle constantly and knowing how many women can relate to that. And uh, I mean, this is a heightened circumstance right. because you're dealing with, you know, jail and drug sentencing, but just that alone to start from is a powerful and a strong place. And to have four daughters and know, you know, constantly I would get from her, I. I have to set an example. They, you know, they're seeing me, and I just think the idea of setting example for young black women is huge. You know that I know my mother was trying to do better for me. You know, but uh, she had a great deal to do, and with four, and yeah. I mean, yeah. do, 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 do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With four, and then being a single mother and with this on her plate, it requires a little bit more. It's a little mm -hmm. bit more gravity. And I just attempted at that, you know. Wow. But I think one thing I do appreciate is that it wasn't only, um, you know, Amazonian black goddess who never falls or cries, thing, right, which right. I think is a, another thing that we see a lot, is that you saw True. the vulnerability and that um, they respected the fact that it was difficult and that she did rely mm -hmm. on the churches and, like, the pastor, mm -hmm. True. your religious um, mm -hmm. faith. Yeah. <laughs>